In war, where soldiers were taught was wrong becomes reality, changing a soldier's perspective on life. As stated in The Good Soldiers by David Finkel, expect the unexpected. He was perhaps five feet away. He swiveled toward them with an AK-47 in his hands. I shot him three times, Ruler said, as March listed in silence, looking away for a moment. The, t the man toppled forward, dead, with two holes in his stomach and one in his head. Ruler continued, from there they moved on to the next house, next door, and then to the next house, and then to the next house, where Ruler found, found and killed a second man. And now, almost a week later, after shooting two people spattering distance and seeing a friend die, he wasn't sleeping well either. This relates to a soldier's change perspective because it demonstrates how a soldier's mindset on death is altered by, by viewing another human's pain caused by the soldier. Due to soldiers experiencing horrific events, their perspectives change all life. An example of this would be the soldier getting beaten for trying to escape in the prisoner of war's camp. Another example would be him swimming in feces. These experiences change his perspective because he's now determined to escape from the place he's in. He realizes how valuable his life is and that he can't just give that up. Due to the new experiences necessary for survival and war, a soldier's perspective is constantly changing, altering their view of right and wrong. As assessing Tim O'Brien to the things they carried, something had gone wrong. I'd come to this war a quiet, thoughtful sort of person, a college grad, Phi Beta Kappa, and Summa Cum Laude, all the credentials. But after seven months in the bush, I realized that those high, civilized trappings had somehow been crushed under the weight of simple daily realities. I turned mean inside, even a little cruel at times. For all my education and all my fine liberal values, I now felt a deep coldness inside me, something dark and beyond reason. It's hard to admit, even to myself, but I was capable of evil. Tim O'Brien realizes in this passage that war has changed him in a way he finds horrifying. He doesn't want to be evil and knows that war has created a monster out of him. His perspective has changed forever. After being in war, a soldier views war as a terrible thing. This is due to seeing his friends killed next to him and being brutally injured. As Babe Heffron stated in Brothers in Battle, Best of Friends, right after it happened, Buck Compton was evacuated. The emotional impact of seeing two of his best buddies, Bill and Joe Toy, in such a bad way was too much. I was there when he rolled up his bedroll. He had it pressed against his chest. I said, Buck, where are you going? He had a blank stare. He had a bad look about him. He said, I just lost two of my best buddies. In this passage, Buck Compton saw two of his greatest friends horribly injured. Because of this, he is emotionally stressed and needs to be evacuated. He sees war as a terrible thing that killed his friends. Chicago way. He had a boogie style that no one else could play. He was a top man at his craft. But then his number came up and he was gone with the draft. He's in the army now, a blowing reveille. He's the boogie boy. As a soldier like John Moore, he spends time in war. They feel the reality of what war is. They see not only the brutal, bloody side of war, but also the political side. Soldiers witness firsthand how people react to war at the same time as reacting bravely themselves. Every soldier reacts to war differently, but all soldiers see inhumane things. War distorts a soldier's view of right and wrong because to survive, 